This is Cascadia Coast News. Uh, there's something I forgot to mention. Uh, the House Bill 2519 uh, did not uh, make it either, and it was concerning re reasonable public safety measures to prevent dangerous individuals from acquiring ammunition. And here are the tyrants sponsoring this bill. Wallen, Valdez, Orwall, Kildoff, Fay, or Ty, however you want to say it, Chapman, Peterson, Davis, Doglio or Doglio, Ramel, Derringer, Paulette, Cody, Ormsey, and Robinson. And of course, it's by request from, you know, the biggest tyrant of them all besides uh, our governor, which is none other than Jay Inslee. Attorney Bob, Bob uh, Ferguson? Yeah, that's his last name. Ferguson, yeah. Or Robert Ferguson. I bet he doesn't like to be called Robert. Mr. Robert Ferguson. Yeah, he uh, kind of sponsored this bill and wrote it, you know. But it it made it to the committee. That's about as far as it went. Uh, it never went to the floor. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, first reading was January 15th, referred on uh, to civil rights and judiciary. And you can go right here. Uh to actually view the entire proceeding. Uh, actually, it might be worth while just to take a gander at everything that they're proposing because uh, I've been doing a lot of research on laws coming into, or bills that they're trying to pass here in Washington State, and there was over 400 more laws. 400? Why in the hell do we need 400 more laws when we got so many damn laws on the books in the first place. They don't even enforce the freaking laws on the books in the first place. There was a Seattle shooting. I think it was like a, a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago. And uh, the, the, these two individuals, I'm not going to mention their names because, you know, that's what the media does to try to, you know, the bias media like King Five and the Washington Examiner and all these mainstream uh, bullcrap news outlets that people decide to watch and then they get so freaking full of shit it's coming out of their freaking eyes. Anyways, uh, they had like, I don't know, like probably 50 crimes between the two of them and, you know, the majority of them were like robberies and, and, uh, and uh, burglaries and and you, you know, robbery right there, robbing somebody, taking something by force, where, you know, you're threatening their lives like these two gangster wannabes did. Uh, should have been either A, they should have been took out in the streets and shot, or B, they should be serving 25 to life for such an offense. You see, what, what, what the federal government likes to do is to lump every single felon into the same category. Rather, you were a, say, say that you're a juvenile, right? And you committed an offense that is more than a year and a day. You technically lose your firearm rights for that. It doesn't even have to be a hardcore offense. I mean, uh, it, it, it could be something as, you know, like may, maybe you were addicted to some marijuana when you were a teenager and you know, you decided to take mama's check and write, write it for $25 and freaking go and, uh, and cash it somewhere. And then uh, just found out you did it, turned your ass in. That's a felony. Yeah, and then they want to lump you in the same category as a murderer or a pedophile or a rapist. Yes, you see, no, it's all about segregating a certain part of the population so they can pose their agenda and see how that worked out. You know, felons are never ever given their rights back you know that's I don't I don't understand that one one single bit uh, I don't know how y'all feel about that but uh, I'm rambling sorry about that I'm gonna have a couple more videos coming out here tonight I don't know what they are yet I'm gonna scour for uh, news reports and crap like that anyways y'all have a good night